that moment you realize you just filmed your entire intro and you had your light off. What one of those days. Just just one of those days. Hey guys! Welcome to Weekly Art Inspirations. I'm sounding a little nasally. I am a little bit sick um, with like a sinus infection. So like not sick sick, but just just there. Anyways, today this was requested and suggested by an awesome friend of mine on Instagram named Dead Binky. That is her uh, artist tag. I will be listing her down below. She does awesome art. Please go check her out. Give her a follow. She is incredible. But she suggested that I do a breakfast video. And what we mean by that is the fact of painting with peanut butter, honey, tea, coffee, like literally everything <laughs> that I can think of and that she brought up that is- oh and jam. I specifically had my dear friend Meg, props to you Meg, for <laughs> getting me a little jar of jam because I actually don't usually eat breakfast and so I do not have jam, so she got some for me. Anyways guys, that is gonna be today's video. We are going to be doing kind of a weird, crazy food painting. Who knows how it will turn out, but thank you guys for coming. Let's get started and see if any of it. I mean, we know coffee works, we know tea works, so there's two things. I'm gonna assume jam's gonna work. I have no idea with the rest. So let's head over to my desk and get started. For anyone who is new to the channel, I'm going to assume that you have no idea that I like painting with strange things. With that said, we have here some instant coffee. That's what I usually like painting with. Um, it's also, I can get it at uh, the dollar store for a buck. Um, so I actually don't drink coffee. I just like painting with it. <laughs> so that's why this is here. Um, I also have peanut butter, which Dead Binky suggested. I mix it with water. She feeds it to her rat and she thought it might be interesting to do to paint with so we're gonna try that and see what happens um i have jam from my friend meg shout out to you meg um i have some different tea from all over in here i have some lipton and then some just normal dollar store um tea i don't know if this is gonna be any different so i'm gonna try mixing it um in a different place and then from my work i work at a candy store and we actually have honey sticks that are different flavors and colors so my plan is to use our licorice honey and outline the uh, drawing today <laughs> and any other colors I want to use. We're going to see how well that goes because I really, I don't think it's going to go well. But wish me luck guys, I'm going to do a little speed it up, speed it up, good golly. You can tell I am sick <laughs> and kind of out of it. I'm going to do a little speed up video of mixing all these, adding a little bit of water to this, adding this to some water, not the whole thing. Come on guys, that's crazy. <laughs> and then just getting the tea ready. So, whoa! so we're going to get started guys. Mixing everything up took a little while. It was not as fast and easy as this makes it look. Um, it was a lot of fun. The green tea really didn't work, so I didn't use that. It smelled amazing though. Um, <laughs> and so with this, I tried to line it and do the pencil work in coffee because I wanted to stay true and try and do everything in this with just the supplies I said I would be using. And it was really fun and looking really good. I wanted to do a jelly dragon who's friends with a peanut butter witch because that sounded really cute and fun. I used the honey right there to do the grass, the peanut butter on the witch, and the jelly on the dragon. I also then decided to line it in black um, licorice honey and that's kind of where everything went off the rails and it turned into a children's drawing. So it looks good for about a second and then it just kind of goes crazy. <laughs> In case you're wondering what happens to the uh, painting after I'm done, I wanted to see if I could uh, put it in my microwave, so uh... You can't really see it, but it's bubbling in there. Oh yeah. 
was, you know, with coffee, you can actually put it in a microwave and it will turn a little bit darker. Apparently honey doesn't work the same way, it kind of just gets everywhere. <laughs> oh yeah. This looks like something from a children's horror game. Or not a children's horror game, but a horror game with a child that like draws something terrifying to sh signify like a monster or a demon that, that, that's like haunting them. That's what this looks like. Like, legit. No offense, guys, but this is gonna be going in the trash. It, it, it kind of stinks. Unfortunately, this will not be kept. Well, guys, there, <laughs> there's a finished product, and uh, you, if you squint, um, I would say the best way, best viewing way for this, uh, this completed project is to squint very hard, and you will see the witch sitting at a cauldron being lit up. Oh, peanut butter witch, by the way. Let's make sure that's clear. She's a peanut butter witch with a licorice honey hat stirring her, or, you know, putting down her cauldron with her jelly dragon blowing fire to that. In case that was unclear from this, what's going on here? <laughs> Guys, I hope you enjoyed this. I promise you there will be some more impressive art coming, <laughs> but I really had a lot of fun doing this. Thanks again to my awesome artist friend, Dead Binky. Be sure to go check out her links down below. Follow her Instagram. She does a ton of incredible, cool, super awesome skeleton art that's really cute and tunish, and I, I really love it. Um, be sure to check out her work. Thanks again to my friend Meg who loaned me the, well, okay, she loaned me. I don't think she's going to want back uh, the jelly. <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks again so much for watching. Um, whether or not I'm sick, guys, stay awesome, stay amazing. Please be sure to try out new things, even if you do a wonderful Picasso such as this. Um, it's always worth it to go after and just have some fun with it. So let me know in the comments below if you've ever tried painting with some of this weird crap I'm using. If you would like to subscribe right here, that would be awesome. Also hit that bell notification. I will be posting every month. Monday. I'm going to be trying to post every Thursday or Friday as well um, with just some more, not so much art inspirations, but kind of just weekly, almost like a vlog on the channel, uh, just for some fun things, different things I've found in art and things like that. And with that said, guys, here's some more videos. And until next week, my little art sprites, stay inspired. Bye, guys.